Hello Tab Nation, it's me, Tom B. And if you are not subscribed by the end of this video, you better be. We're throwing you two to three videos having to do with automating your computer. So this is an interesting video. I see this come up quite a bit where people want auto hotkeys to basically watch a website for when a item comes in stock. So the one very popular recently has been the PlayStation 5 or graphics cards. You know, they'll be out of stock, but they'll they'll come in stock, but they're sold out within like 15 minutes and you just happen to be away from your computer. So we're going to take a look at how to kind of have some system like notification. Uh, I have done a video where I showed you how to email yourself or text yourself. So that could be embedded in this too. Uh, that way, if you don't even, you're not around your computer to even hear it go off, uh, it's a better option too. Now, just a word of... Uh, caution this doesn't work on every website uh, sometimes when you try to do a like a URL download of a website it'll actually send you an error page uh, I guess because they just don't want you being able to do that but the good news is this seems to work really well on Amazon so let's take a look at that code shall we all right let's move that down a little bit just to look better all right so First thing I'm starting off with is a timer, uh, and that's just set timer, comma, checker, which is just where it's going to go to, jump to the handler. And uh, I got 600,000, which equals 10 minutes. Now I do have a hotkey here, F1. Uh, I'm just doing that for the video because obviously I don't want to sit here and wait for 10 minutes waiting for this to go off. I'm going to kind of skip that timer by pressing F1, um, but pretend that's not there. You know, when it hits that 10 minutes, it's going to jump down here to checker, which is that handler there. So we're going to do URL save. And here is our link here. Let's actually, let's open that. How do I, it's the control click. There we go. So we're looking at the PlayStation 5 console, which is currently unavailable. Well, I want to know when it's going to be available. And I want to check every 10 minutes. So, the URL save is going to basically save, uh, well, sorry, that's the variable of the website I'm using, sorry. Uh, you are download to file. So that's going to download that site's information, basically all the like text and whatnot. Now you could do this uh, URL download to variable, uh, either one, depending what you're, you know, you want to do, you can. I was playing with UL, URL download to file, so I just kind of left it as that. Grab that website from up here in that variable. Uh, where do we want to save that file as a text document? So I'm just using a built-in variable, a desktop. And I'm just calling it hkdownload1.txt. Well, now I need to read that information. Obviously, if you're using a download to variable, you don't need this. Um, but I do, so file read, what do I want all that information to be stored as, output variable, get a little more creative with your variables than I do, obviously. Uh, and it's reading from that location, a desktop, download, ahk, download, one.txt. And then basically we're just going to see what's in that text file. If that If the output variable contains currently unavailable, I'm going to give myself a message box saying that it's still not un or still not available. So let's test that one out, and then we're going to do the opposite. We'll we'll look at an item that should be available, hopefully. So let's launch that. So obviously, I am not going to be waiting ten minutes. I'm going to go ahead and press F1 just to go ahead and skip that ten minutes. So it's going to do the download. Depending on the site, depends how long it takes. You know, this could take a few seconds. Might take a little bit longer. There it goes. What are we doing here? Uh-oh. Did I not run the script like I thought I did? No, it's there. Well, let's press F1 again. That is really weird. 
Ah, I'm sorry. I ran the wrong script. All right, let's let's do that again. Now I'm running the correct script, I believe. Yes. All right, F1. There we go. Still not available. And here's that text file. I download it. So you just curious. You want to see what it looks like? Code's in here somewhere. Oh, there we go. So yeah, as you see, it's just downloading a lot of that website's information. So it's just searching through here to see if that text exists, not available. Obviously, the wording for each site might be different, so still not available. Let's close that script, and let's take... Do, do, do. Yeah, here we go. Let's take a look at this one. Now we want to see if something is available. So we're doing basically the exact same setup, a timer. I'm using F2 here to skip that timer. Uh, here's the URL. So here we're looking at something a little different. We're just going to be looking at this uh, PlayStation 5 carrying case. And as we see here, it is available. You know, I got that buy now and everything. So we, it, this will show that it's available. Uh, basically, same thing. Uh, so here we're doing, does, does it contain currently unavailable like we did in our last script? If so... I just have a return there. Do nothing. I don't care if it's not available. Else, meaning that, hey, it is available. You're going to give me a message box here that says that you are available and a sound beep. Honestly, the sound beep should probably go before the message box because if you're away from your computer. And if you really want to know, you can be like sound beep, sound beep, sound beep, just to get like a whole bunch of uh, <laughs> notifications so you definitely hear it. Uh, I was talking about doing like an email or text yourself. I'll link that uh, video in the description below. That's where you would add this is inside this else instead. And then boom, you'll get a text message on your phone. Word it, you know, however you want. Hey, your thing you're looking for is available. So let's run this one. All right, I'm going to go ahead and press F2. Uh, let's delete that file real quick. All right, just downloaded it, and boom, it is available. So you probably didn't hear it. I don't know if my mic really picked that up. I think I also have my headphones plugged in, but I, I did hear it out of the corner of my ear. I hear, heard it just kind of real quick go beep, 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 beep. So obviously, uh, don't have your headphones plugged in if you're trying to listen from another room. So yeah, I hope this is uh, super helpful for people who are you know, trying to buy something on eBay, you could do this to, instead of looking for currently unavailable, you could have it say something like, uh, you know, does it contain the price $1 for a certain auction you're watching? So then it can let you know, hey, the price just went up. There's so many cool things you could do this with watching websites to let you know when something has changed, whether it's uh, became available or just changed in general. If you guys have any questions about the scripts or any ideas how I could expand on this, definitely let me know in the comments below and I will see you guys on the next video. See ya.